Listen, listen. I would rather do what makes God happy. Right. And if he's allowed me to have one wife, God, then I'm happy with one wife. If God is happy with you treating two women equally, would you do it? Uh, Ali, ask me. Or well, 14. I would do, yeah, I probably would. Ali, but, ask me the same. Hey, my boy? Yes. You've got my but this is a bit. No, Ali, but wait, no, wait, wait. No, no, because that. Yeah. Because you're honest. Yeah? Okay. And you yeah, know, but, so I tell you something. Every time, even when I was praying now, whenever I say this is the same, I swear to God, I'm praying to you. Yeah? And I'm sure you pray to you. <laughs> you can have as much as you like. I swear to God, when I was there, I prayed for your guidance. You know why? Look, we speak to Daniel. Guidance. We speak to Coco. Popcorn. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Um, nice. We speak to all of these men, yeah? Okay. I don't see them I don't care what anyone says, yeah? Same argument, same hatred, Nizi, Artun, all of them, yeah? But you, even though we just told today, don't speak to them. I said, no, let me speak to them, yeah? Okay, so with me, brother, I'm not going to give up on you until you give up on yourself. Well, Ali, yeah? Ali, Ali, Ali. <laughs> I'm not giving up on you. Same, same. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. you Ali, until, eyes, until your eyes are open. Thank you. Yes. Oh? Same, that's why I feel about you, bro, yeah? I hope God opens your eyes because and that's how you feel. Ali. Ali. So, wait, wait, bro. Are you married? You, you love people are like still waiting for his Do you love your wife? Do you love your wife? Why would you feel the Virgo effect on the other? Okay, that's a good question. But, yeah, but, that is a good question. But, but, because it would destroy my wife. And I would never do it. Because it's not. Is it, is, it, is it within a woman's nature to get another husband? Is it According to who? Of course though? it is. Yeah, that's because he made up the question. Now let me ask you a sincere question. Let me yeah, ask yeah, you a question. Yeah, yeah, Is it right that you can have four wives, yes. but your wife can't have four, three other husbands? Let me, let me tell you why. Because this is what I'm talking about. I know, but you asked the question, so I can ask you. Yeah, yeah, so that's what we're asking. Okay, so let me ask you guys a question. If a woman has intercourse with four men, yeah, okay, the baby. I get it. No, 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 one second. If God is legislating something, just because something doesn't, like, for example, we are told, you are told, well, I'm sure you're scripting, you deny it, that we can, we, we can go to war. You believe? What about if you don't believe in the scripture? I believe in the scripture. I'm saying, I'm ordered that if there is an oppressive army, like the Prophet, peace be upon him, he was oppressed for 10 plus years. His, his, his companions were killed, persecuted, yeah? For 10 plus years. He did not get a revelation to fight back until Surah Hajj, verse 39, was revealed. The permission to fight has been given now. So when you're fighting, obviously you don't want to get your hands chopped up. You don't want to die. It's hard. Yeah, it's hard to go to battle, yes? I'm sure you haven't gone to battle, but come on, you've been in fights. Yeah? I understand. So, but let's stick to the women. No, no, but sticking, but it comes back to this. Okay. The issue is just because something doesn't seem nice to the AR, I'm going to go to war, man might get killed. It does not negate the fact that that is wrong. Yeah? So just as because we're ordered to marry four women, it does not mean the revelation is wrong. It doesn't mean. Just because a woman is jealous doesn't mean the revelation is wrong. If the Bible said marry... Why, is it four, fair? No, no, no. no one second. Fair. Fair. You, just said, you just said fair and equality is given. So for example, if you have a, a need of um, two breads, my man is four. So it's not equality me to say, okay, here's two for me and two for me. It's four. I'm why, not talking, I'm not saying, yeah, but why? By the way, I'm not saying yeah, women are some, yeah? yeah, but there's some women that want free yeah, more. I love so why can't they have? Let me say something. Yeah. Let me say something. Yeah. Within a nature of a woman. Okay. Go According to, to you. Yeah. No, 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 no. I'm not going to be generalized. Okay. There are. Now there's some women out there okay. that would. I don't know. What would want simultaneous more women? Out? <laughs> I don't know. Give me their number. I don't. I don't know. <laughs> but what I'm saying is, within a woman's nature, is one man. She knows one man. Yeah? But for a man. Man, from that's history, a bit of a generalization. From history, from history, I'm saying there might be some odd ones out there here and there, yeah? yeah. Okay, but you know, in your in your Christianity, in history, many of them have many wives. Yeah, but yeah? for example, like so, when, so, when Mutter so, was allowed, so, some of those women probably sorry, had four, so, five, six so, husbands. So, no, 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 no. Yeah, because when Mutter marriage was allowed. No, 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 no. Look, you cannot be married simultaneously. Yeah, but one are different no, 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 men though, isn't no, 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 it? No, 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 you can't. You can't. That's not a laugh for the baby today, yeah? But that's not an argument today, yeah? Let's just answer the question, yeah? But moving on to our main topic, yes? Okay, so before I start, yeah, I want to praise Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. All praise is glory and gratitude belong to God Almighty. Okay. He's I don't think you sufficiently answered that question. 
I do, no, just, okay, just answer that question that's on that point. Of whether it's fair. Okay, so I'll still start with the name of you love your boy. So, no, but let me just answer that about the equality. Would you care for No, no, inequality. I care about that the Sharia, God's commandments, have not only come for my wife, but for the rights of other females. Yeah? So, for example, if I live in a village or a town and there is more men than women, yes? Hear me out. It's not. Please tell me, man. You know how many more there is, and I don't deny there are some places where there are there are more women than men. But God Almighty, God Almighty has sent this legislation to everybody. So it's a specific time. If every man and woman is got married, those women have sexual needs. They have a man, a lot of women. Something is not just sexual. I need some a companion. A companion. I need a man. I need a man. Men die in war. Go to America, majority of the inmates are males. Go to America, there's 20 million gays. Yeah. So you got women there who are burning. They're saying, look, man, we've got needs. So Allah has, God Almighty has legislated a solution. Because otherwise, we can turn to God and say, hold on a second, we have these problems. What's the solution? This is why Islam, one of the reasons why I chose Islam, because Islam hasn't come in a past, in a a pacifist way of you know everything is all uh, you know rosy no 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 islam is real it's the bitter truth that is hard to swallow so that's why some people come and say oh but what is it why does islam say this islam is being real it's saying look this is what's happening and this is what's going to happen so that's the reason why for example the issue of the uh, woman more than or more husband if she had sex with four men who's the who's the father yeah, but does that stand for this day? Biologically. Rich? That's point number. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So point point if a woman yes. has what? If a woman had sex with four men. Yeah, who's the dad? Nobody's going to know. Yeah. Who's the dad? I've been in this situation. The they didn't have GPs back then. Okay. What did they do? That's that's one of the reasons why if a, if a man has four wives, you know who the father, you know the mother. Yeah, okay. yeah. So, so 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 no, that's one reason. I'm giving okay. you the wisdom behind it. Yeah, I don't. You know what I'm trying to say? That's one reason. And also, it's just very recent in today's time that we live this feminist movement. Thing of, no, you know, only my man. Look, there's a lot of non-Muslims who practice polygyny. Yeah, obviously. A lot, yeah? yeah. And Mormons, yeah? Yeah, I have Mormons. to pick them up. You yeah, know why? Because they say, oh, uh, your co <laughs> co yeah, How do you feel about your co wife? She goes, not my co wife, she's my co sister. I was like, big up. I have to respect, yeah? She goes, that's, that's my co sister. Yeah, but ain't that bit about stone It's not for everyone. Allah says in the Quran, marry two, three, and four. If you can't be just, marry one. Okay. And you want to find a statement, marry one. But the her. reason why I would point out that point about who's a father, yeah. and the reason why I brought out Mutter, for example. Yeah. You go and have a mutter marriage back in the time of the prophet, yeah. But when it was allowed during the war, that's why, yeah. What if the woman has an STD? He gives it to the the man, and he gives it to all his four wives. Okay. And then what? Okay, okay. okay. Firstly, firstly, why does she have an STD? Yeah. Because STDs have always existed. No, no, no. Why does she? Why she going sleeping around? A stick. Yeah. Under mutter, you can sleep with someone yeah, for three someone, days. Yeah, but someone, someone, someone before pre-Islam, yeah. before Islam, could have done that and repented. Okay. She's still my this. Yeah. Do you know what I'm trying to say? But that's what I'm saying. That, so now what's that, it's... What's that got, you need to tell me that there's a correlation that Islam causes. No, but I'm just saying, could you give me a logical reason as yeah. to why, like, who's the father? Yeah. So I'm saying, you go to war, there's a beautiful woman, yeah. and everyone likes this particular woman. Yeah. Let's say somehow she contracts an STD. Wow. Or she has an STD or whatever. Because STDs, have, syphilis has existed for, no for exactly no the longest of times no throughout history. No you can contract it on her, and then you go, let's say you have four wives, and then you go and give it to your four wives. Okay, but what's that got to do with the issue? Be because Mutta is, for example, like prostitution has a very high correlation with sexual diseases. If yeah. you look at any sexual yeah. health study, yeah. so obviously Mutta was a time was uh, you can marry someone for three days, right? No, no, no. We, I, Minimum I, of three no, days. No, 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 we don't know. We don't know. I, I don't know. Yeah, you know? A minute, yeah. No, no, I, 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 I don't know. I, I, yeah, I, yeah, I don't know. I haven't looked into it. Okay. Yeah, I okay, it was I, I don't know. I don't know why it was legislated, what it was for, and why it got forbidden. I don't know. You don't so, know anything? So, okay. No, no, I don't know. So, I know I know that it was forbidden. Yes. yes. So the question is like alcohol, yeah? Yes. The companions used to drink alcohol. They used to okay. come to prayer alcohol. Okay. We've drink it uh, drunk. That's okay. what Allah SWT said. Do not come to prayer drunk. Okay. It was the basis of getting them into the right state of mind. Because Aisha and Anha, the wife of the Prophet Sallam, who's one of the biggest scholars in Islam, she said that if revelation came down with halal and haram, nobody would have accepted Islam. Okay. Because it was too hard on them, yeah? Okay. But the revelation came down with paradise, heaven, okay. do you get what I'm trying to say? Right. Two points. One, let me just start with the halal haram thing. When okay, it, but when no, it, it went, I know, just 
Well, yeah. quickly, rather, but when the Egyptians came out of uh, Egypt, yeah. God gave the Torah to Moses and they had to follow it. Nothing about halal or haram. That was given to them. So why is it now Allah? during the time of Muhammad is given these exceptions. For them, they had the ways of the Egyptians and whatever. They, as in like their lifestyle, they didn't have the Torah then. No, of course, right? there's, there's, but why is it that Allah would give them the Torah and say, guys, you have to follow these 613 laws, no question about it. There's no probation period or anything. But then now, we're, we're, it's like no, course, Allah's because, allowing... Because, because just, just, just the way, for example, Moses' miracles were different to Jesus' miracles, was different to Muhammad's miracles. Okay. Because at that time, for example, at the time of Moses, it was magic. Okay. So God would not go and send uh, Moses the Quran because it wasn't poetry. You get it? No, so, but my point so, is they no, had to follow the no, laws. No, the, the, there was the, no probation. The, the, the thing is, there was certain laws and legislation God commanded Moses yes. that he did not command Jesus. That he did not command Prophet Muhammad. It's not that God changes his mind, but his caters for each specific time. You know what I'm saying? For Moses' time, if there was a specific situation, God's going to command that. He's going to send that miracle in the sea. In Jesus' time, he was uh, uh, his, his miraculous birth. Yeah, um, healing the the blind, uh, giving uh, uh, life to the dead. God's permission. Yeah, Ali, you know what I'm saying? Back, so he, back to the original life. Do you don't think it's equality for women? You see, it's equality to women. What does this mean? It's justice. Yeah, but is, is as a woman not equal to a man? If I'm allowed four wives in Islam, is a woman not equal to a man? If I'm allowed as many women as I want, yeah, but she's not. Okay, if that's the case, for example, equality doesn't mean it's justice. Yeah. yeah so, for example, if Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala says in the Quran that, for example, if you fear that your wife, for example, is uh, cheating behind your back. No, we're not cheating. She she deserves my respect. Come on, hear me out. But nobody said that. You said you do 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 respect. I just yeah. want to make a point. Marry, look at him speaking. Marry, marry again does not mean it's respect. It's, this is a new phenomenon in today's age that it's a oh no if you love me no 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 it's, where did this all come up from? I don't believe it. Fam, fam, hundred years ago this was not that. a problem. I don't believe that. It was not a I problem. I believe everyone had feelings the problem, back then. But you, See, that's a subjective notion that's been brought up today. I don't think it. I don't believe it. It is, it is. I believe we've had emotions, the same emotions. No. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, okay. If no, somebody dies, you, you, you want to cry. No, I agree with you. Yeah, right. I agree. But if, my, if I brought another wife, my wife would be devastated. Okay, so what we're saying is, the Sharia says, for example, if your wife... But she's in equality to me. No, 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 she's no, not no, equal no, to no, me, no, if that's the case. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is an in-life topic, yeah? There's a lot of matters regarding... Yes, but I'm trying to get to okay, the basics. Okay, let me, let, me, let me tell you something, yeah? That would maybe seal the whole issue, yeah? I'm not going to ask you personally, yeah? Are there people out there who cheat on their wives? Me. <laughs> That's the reason you, do, yeah, you should do that. You should you should get married again. Yeah. This is this is my problem. Let me hear no, you. but I don't because no, it'll no, fuck everything up. No, hear me out. This this is exactly what I'm talking about. Hear me out. Yeah, you are a man who has a sexual drive. Who uh, you're uh, a big one. Okay, a big one. Okay, the Sharia is here to help you. And so the Sharia the says, hear me out. The Sharia says you're a man uh, with a sex high drive that has a need. Now you're turning to your wife and thinking she's gonna kill me. Yeah. Should I go cheat on my wife and disobey God's command? Yeah, because she won't know. Let me out, let me out. But, but do you see that? So what happens is with us Muslims, it's this, yeah? Either I'm going dis- to make my wife happy at the cost of disobeying God. No. Yeah? So what that would mean is the following, yeah? I'm going to go and cheat on my wife behind her back because I have a high sex drive. I need to get and married I'm good again. good at that. She's going to kill me. But so t- so, so okay. look, if you was a Christian, you're stuck. I am a Christian. You're stuck. You're I'm there. good at that. I'm second. good at that. One second. I never get caught. Hear me out. 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 You're a bad Christian. He's cheating on his wife. He said he's a saint. Okay. 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 Bro. So, so. You're going to die. Your wife's going to kill you. Brother, I'll find you. It's going to be a martyr. Don't. 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 It's going to be a martyr. So now, hear me out. Islam, this is why I say Islam is a perfect solution. Yeah? Because if you was a Muslim, number one, you shouldn't cheat on your wife. Big sin. Massive sin. But according to Islam, can you lie to your wife? Lie about what? Lie to your wife. No, no, no. We we have, keep her happy. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, for example, so therefore, we have, No, hear me out. That's, okay. not, that's not a lie. We have something called a pink yeah? So for Bro, example, don't post it, please. What this means is this, yeah? Is that... Liar, the Prophet said a Muslim can be anything but in between known as a liar. Okay. In general, we're not lying. You, if you marry yeah, another woman, then just, can you, do you have to tell your wife your first okay. name? There's a difference of opinion. Some say you can, some say you can't. So some say you can't. Yes. So your wife would kill you if she found no, out no, you followed no, 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 opinion no, 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 that, that says you can't. Hear me out, hear me out. You don't have to. Hear me out, because what you're doing is, before I address the issue, you're throwing a lot. Yeah, it's just that's So what I'm trying to say is this, that the solution to this, and see, when you guys do that, I forget my point, yeah? 
for you, what it means is the Sharia says that number one, you cannot cheat on your wife. It's a massive major sin. You have to give her rights. She has sexual rights, yeah? She has you have, uh, rights that you have to spend time with her, take her out. You have to provide for her. You know what this means? That the mahal that you give her, when you marry her, she can say, I want five grand. You give her that five grand. That's her money. You can't touch a penny. Even if you're dying out of thirst, she, can't, she won't give you a penny. She doesn't have to. On top of that, when you're working, you need to look after her while she's shopping. Yeah? Now, once you've done that, now as a man, the prophet, Allah says to us that the biggest weakness for a man is a woman. It's not weakness. You know it. We all know it. Yeah? So if you want to get married again, God says, don't disobey my commandments. Don't say, okay, you know what? One God, Allah, my wife is going to kill me. Oh, let her be happy. I'll go and cheat behind her back. No. This is the reason why a lot of non-Muslim men have mistresses, girlfriends, and side yeah. chicks. Yeah? This yeah. is why Islam has come to say no. Because what you're doing is you're abusing those women. What are you doing? You're going and sleeping around with them, giving them a Gucci bag, a few lipstick. Yeah, bye-bye. Nah. Islam said if you're going to do it, my brother, you do it the right way. You honor yeah. her. You go to her father and say, look, I want to marry your daughter. Yeah, yes, I'm marrying you. Now, hear me out, hear me out. I'm talking from the heart. Yeah? Hear me out, hear me out, yeah? You go to... So, so what the thing is, is you go to the father and say, look, I want to marry your daughter. Why? Because you respect her, not, hey, yeah, let's talk link up, yeah, text, nah, 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 none of that nonsense. We are not even allowed to be texting alone, to be alone. You know why? Because we believe Satan is the third person. Things happen, you know, when two people are alone in a certain place, you get what I'm trying to say? So we honor her, we give her her right, we, make her, uh, we give her a, a wedding, she has her right. And you have two wives that you treat, you buy an iPhone fan, you buy the next no, one an iPhone. No, no. This is justice. Ali. Let me just respond to that because I'm yeah, going to go to this. By the way, let me I just said, say something. Yeah, paper boy, we, listen, yeah. Let, Real talk, yeah. Like I said, don't come here. I'm not here for my ego. If you prove something to me, I accept it. I don't want this to be a discussion. Egos. No, no, no. If you're right, I'll say, look, you know what? I'm just trying to understand the logic. Let's let's break this notion of egos. Yeah, I'm not going to ego. Let's talk. Yeah, sorry, sorry. Because I'm just questioning the logic. Because I want to. I know we'll wrap this up very quickly. Okay, well, I just want to because it's because when you said certain points, it's it made me think. Yeah, yeah. it made me think of other things. So Ali. I'm just going to. I'm, I'm, I'm going to give you the verse, the hadith about where Buddha was. The verse about Buddha was. I'm not. I don't know. Western. You will learn. You will learn. You give me your. You will learn. Narrated Abdullah like Bukhari, it says we used to participate in the holy wars carried on by the Prophet and we had no women with us, so we said to the Prophet, shall we castrate ourselves? But the Prophet forbade us to do that and thenceforth he allowed us to marry a woman temporarily by giving her even a garment. And then he recited, O oh, you who believe, do not make unlawful the good things which Allah has made lawful to you. Now my question is this, if these men had women, wives at home and they've gone away to war and now they're going to engage in a temporary marriage, is this fair to the original wife and does he have to tell the original wife? Because if he doesn't, we cannot then say this is fairness to the woman because if something's going on between her or him and her, she might be devastated. So one, it's two, two, two parts of the question. Okay, okay, number one. Okay, so what we're going to do is number one is that I don't know about this matter. Okay. Number one, you've quoted a hadith which I need to check the context, why it was revealed, how it was revealed. Yeah? Number three, was at the time, no, 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 the hadith is actually showing you scripture in the Bible, but when was it revealed? Who was it for? Context before and after, yeah? Wait, just yes. the context. No, 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 no. no. It doesn't work. Like when, 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 like, if that's the case, if that's the case, then you'll have these uh, people coming and saying, yeah, kill them. This thing is really fine. Then. Yeah, but what about the verse before and after? Well, it told you that they were in the war and that they no, no, wanted to engage in the war. What was their condition? No, no, no. They was, no, no, no. What was their condition? They wanted jiggy jiggy. How, no, how long, how long were they going for? Jiggy jiggy, you're the one. Anyway, <laughs> so, okay. That's the context. You know, make it your point. Okay. <laughs> okay, so the issue is, yes. they're going to war. These wars were not like found. Let me get a fly there, yeah? Yes, or more to go in there, yeah? Okay. That's why they said, should we castrate ourselves? Yeah. Yeah? yeah? So, 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 no, 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 you're missing the point. You're missing yeah. the point. When you go into war, okay, okay, there's a whole different context. So, why it was revealed, why it was prohibited, we need to discuss that in detail. The matter. Okay. Yeah? So that was there. We need to find out first thing if that's authentic. If it is, what's the context? I need to know that. Okay, it's Bukhari. Okay, it's Bukhari's authentic. Then we need to find out why it was it. Next week, I need to look into it. So you're looking to, okay, that's fine. <laughs> that's fine. Huh? That's fine. Well, my claim is this, yeah, is that no, no, he's know, saying to, yeah, there's equality, know. but... No, no, we so, need to know. Yeah, we can we discuss it properly next because, week. Because these are real issues, because it's, it's easy for us to live in the 2000, 2019 
yeah, and uh, look at the matter. Like, no, it's totally different, man. There is yeah. a different era. Why would it be the same thing? And not only that, yeah, if, you look, at, if you look at the Romans, the Christians, the Persians, when they were going, forget this is married, get yeah. married to them. They were going and raping them. Not all Christians, I'm not saying it was bad Christians. They would go to war, and women would rape them and somebody would kill them. So we need to look why Yeah, but that would happen in exactly. Islam as well. Ali, no, no, about they were bad Muslims. Ali, bad then. You're talking about but, marriage. Yeah. So, about marriage. Look, I everyone's asking about your marriage document. Listen, that part one's, part one's coming out. I've seen it. I've seen it. Yeah. So, so all of my claim is this. Who cares about his marriage? You didn't get married. And you've engaged in an extramarital relationship. So my claim is before we discuss next week. No, we call them. Move on to that. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm saying just what next week we can just, yeah, when yeah. you've had a look at the verses, that I find it disagree, but that you can go to war. Potentially have an extramarital relationship, even if it's a temporary marriage, behind your wife's back, and you don't even have to tell her. You might even come back with an STD there's, 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 because that's why I asked you: Do you have? Real. Can you lie to your wife? You're, 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 what you're doing is you're, you're thinking, thinking yeah, about. Yeah, but I said when you find out, we'll no, discuss no, 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 this further. But what you're doing now, you to ponder. Exactly. But the way you're putting it yes. is problematic. Because what you're doing is you're looking at it with the context, the glasses of today. Yeah, but you said in terms of yeah, but STDs and uh, sex, yeah, exactly, no, 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 has been a problem no, no, for no, throughout no, history. No, yeah. no, no. Of course, how do you know? No, one second, one second. When it's back logical. in the days, no, 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 it's right. not logical. Uh, three, three thousand years ago, yeah. let's say four thousand years ago, yeah. or two thousand years ago. So you think people, they were, yeah. no, no, one second, one second, one second. Media. Nobody were well. There were nations that lived rock up like us. Yeah, yeah. sadly today, how we live. But not all nations were like that. Yeah. So we shouldn't go and generalize no, yeah, and make it seem that every nation. there was but you saying they're like that, it doesn't mean that everyone has to be sitting around but no, no, sexual no, no, no. like disease were transmitted. People, 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 just married. Through. people married. Yes. There wasn't none of this sleep around with uh, 500 men. Yeah, yeah but I'm saying if woman. you go and engage in Mutad, it increases the point. No, you're missing the point. You don't, you don't, you don't, you don't know happening. the conditions of what Mutad was for. Why you got pregnant? That's what I'm saying. You're sticking to it. Yeah. So I'm saying, look, we're going to discuss. No, but I'm week, saying to you, look, if you marry a woman for three days, yes, you're, you're missing you, the point. No, but listen to what I'm saying. You yeah. marry a woman for three days. Someone else likes her. He marries her for three days. Let's say someone else. This is the not, logic tells us the potential is there. We, yeah, do you agree? Okay, but, but firstly, we need to look at the conditions. No water. Okay, and that's what I'm saying. We'll discuss that next that's week. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, next but week. I'm just giving you my thought process behind that, it. That might be flawed. Wrong. That might, no, you can't so, say it's wrong until you find out all right, exactly we'll discuss that the week. registration. All right, so next week we're going to discuss what are marriages yeah. and the conditions. Okay. Yeah? yeah? All right, cool. So now today, we're going to discuss um, the Trinity from the Scripture and Tawheed from Islamic. We're going to we're going to we're going to speak about Trinity and Tawheed, but before we do, we need to 